Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another video on Income Tax. Today we are discussing Section 43 CA of Income Tax Act 1961 and its changes. And this section is applicable for property dealers for determining the transaction value in certain circumstance. And this is very very important for students who are pursuing their CA, CMA, final or inter-level examination as well because there are two set of changes. First one on account of annual budget 2020 and the second one as a part of third set of stimulus introduced by the central government to boost the economy. So let's get into details. So before moving forward, let's understand the agenda of this video. Okay, the objective is quite simple, understanding section 43 CA. And the second one is amendments under section 43 CA on account of annual budget 2020. And lastly, understanding the new insertions which are announced as a part of third set of stimulus package to boost the economy. So there are certain changes made by the finance minister to boost the economy as a part of third set, set of stimulus package. So that is exactly the agenda of this video. Now starting with 43 CA of Income Tax Act. It says, I'm, say I'm an SSE and I'm transferring any land or building which is held as stock in trade. That means a property dealer. I'm an SSE who deals in property. The property can be either a land or a building or both, both land and building. Okay. And my transfer value, if it is less than the stamp duty value, if I'm transferring that particular property for a value which is less than the stamp duty value, then such stamp duty value shall be deemed to be the full value of consideration for the purpose of computing profits. This is what section 43 CA states about. Simply, I can give you one example. Say I'm a flat developer. Okay. Say JK is a developer of flat and I'm transferring my flat. Okay. The flat which I've developed and the value transfer value is say 50 lakhs. I've transferred the flat for rupees 50 lakh okay and the stamp duty value for this particular property it is say 75 lakh and the stamp duty value of this particular property which i've transferred is 75 lakh then what the act says for the purpose of computing profit for paying taxes you have to consider your transfer value as stamp duty value by considering section 43 ca this is what the act says it simply means your actual transfer value if it is less than stamp duty value then the stamp duty value have to be considered for uh, computing your profits this is applicable only for dealers who are actually dealing in land or a building or both hope you got my point okay now let's understand what exactly is stamp duty value stamp duty value is simply we can say it is a value adopted by any authority of state government for the purpose of payment of stamp duty the value which is adopted for computing stamp duty charges is said to be stamp duty value and let's move forward so moving forward determination of stamp duty value in certain circumstance let's understand the determination of stamp duty value in certain specific circumstance so where the date of agreement fixing the value of consideration for transfer of an asset and date of registration of transfer of asset are not the same. If there is a date of agreement and later if there is a registration date as well and then the stamp duty value as on date of agreement have to be considered if the amount of consideration or part thereof has been received by way of account pay check or account pay bank draft or electronic clearing system or through other prescribed electronic mode on or before date of agreement okay this looks very confusing but let me explain this by way of a simple example okay say again jk is a property dealer okay jk is a property dealer and jk is selling particular property to a buyer called b okay so before this registration of the sale there was an agreement there was an initial agreement and what there was an advance so the agreement date so the agreement date ag means agreement date say it is first of june first june and it got registered afterwards okay and the date of registration was say 15th September okay it got registered afterwards and it was on 15th September say on 1st June the stamp duty value was 50 lakhs and on 15th September the stamp duty value got changed and the stamp duty value became 60 lakhs and the actual transfer value say the TV means the transfer value 
for this particular transaction it is say 20 lakhs now as you know as per section 43 ca you have to consider the stamp duty value for computing your profits right but there is two stamp duty value there are two stamp duty value which one to consider that is the question here because here is a date of agreement and there is a date of registration as well so according to 43 ca the act says you can consider the stamp duty value as on date of agreement only if your buyer has given an advance to the dealer on the date of agreement or before and this method of advancing either it should be by way of an account paycheck or an account pay bank draft or through electronic clearing system or through other prescribed electronic mode it simply means if the b the buyer has given jk an advance say on first june at the time of agreement itself say 10 lakh rupees given as an advance and this advance has been given by way of either account paycheck or account pay bank draft or ECS or through other prescribed electronic mode simply means your payment bank uh, your B map or Google pay etc etc is the other prescribed electronic modes if the payment that means an advance has been has been received by the dealer by through any of these modes then you can consider the stamp duty value as on date of agreement in all other cases the stamp duty value have to be considered on the date of registration that means if there is no advance or if the advance is by any other method say for example in cash then you have to consider the date of registration itself hope you got that point very clear now moving forward next there is a relaxation and this is very 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 important the relaxation is where the stamp duty value does not exceed 110 percentage of consideration then such consideration shall be deemed to be the full value of consideration for the purpose of computing profits so what do you mean by this it simply means say for example jk has transferred a particular property for 100 lakhs okay have transferred a particular land or a building for say 100 lakhs and the stamp duty value for that particular property is say 106 lakhs the stamp duty value for the particular property was 106 lakhs and as you know as per section 43 ca the stamp duty value is higher so definitely you have to consider the stamp duty value for the purpose of computing your profit but the act says there is a relaxation what it says if your stamp duty value does not exceed 110 percentage of your consideration as you know your consideration is 100 lakh and your stamp duty value is 106 lakhs then as you know it is only 106 percentage of your consideration your stamp duty value is only 106 percentage of your consideration and the act says where the stamp duty value does not exceed 110 percentage of your consideration then you can consider that particular consideration itself as your transfer value for the purpose of computing profit so in this case being your stamp duty value is only 106 percentage of your consideration you can consider this transfer value of 100 lakhs for the purpose of computing for uh, what computing your profits that simply means 43 ca is not applicable there is a threshold you got my point that simply means the uh, what do you say your stamp duty value if it is not more than 110 percentage of your consideration then 43 ca is not applicable okay earlier earlier it was 105 percentage and with effect from 1st april 2021 onwards they have made it to 110 percentage okay so moving forward now let's understand what all are the takeaways from the third set of stimulus package introduced by the finance minister of india okay so as per the central government decision central government decided to increase the differential limit from 10 percentage to 20 percentage till 30th june 2021 for the sales of residential units of value up to two crores it simply means what it means say you are a property dealer and you are selling only residential house properties okay and value of each unit that you are selling is less than two crores okay it is less than or equal to two crores that means each house property that you are selling is of only of value which is less than or equal to two crores then the act says earlier we have uh, discussed the relaxation it was what stamp duty value if it does not exceed 110 percentage of your actual consideration then 43 ca is not applicable this is what we have studied in the last slide right so here the act says if you are selling a residential house property and if your transfer value is less than or equal to 2 crore then your stamp duty value if it is does not exceed 
120 percentage of your transfer value then you don't have to consider 43 ca it simply means i'll give you another example if you are a residential house property transferer and uh, your value of property transferring is less than or equal to 2 crore then what will happen say your transfer value is 100 crore and your stamp duty value is 112 crore then as you know your stamp duty value is more than 110 percentage of your transfer value so then according to section 43 ca you have to consider your stamp duty value as your transfer value for the purpose of computing profit right but as a part of this third set of stimulus package the central government what they did they have increased this percentage limit to 120 percentage so it says if you are a property dealer who is dealing in residential house property and your transfer value of each property is less than or equal to 2 crore then what you have to consider instead of 110 percentage the stamp duty value should be more than 120 percentage for 43 ca to become applicable this is what the third stimulus package introduced by the central government in relation to 43 ca so uh, the main object of introducing this third set of stimulus package was to clear off all the closing stock say due to this covid pandemic say i'm a property dealer and i'm transferring residential house property and due to this covid pandemic if my sales are not happening because i have a lot of what stock in trade a lot of inventory so i've decided to sell it for a reduced value and I'm selling it for a value which is less than the stamp duty value. Then as you know, as per 43 CA, the stamp duty value will be considered as just what transfer value for the purpose of computing profit. But the central government has given a relaxation to this property dealers who are dealing in residential house property. They are telling you sell it for a discount. Okay. And if your stamp duty values more than 120 percentage of your consideration only 43 CA will be applicable for you. Otherwise, you don't have to worry about this 43 CA. So this was the booster given by the central government. Hope it is clear. Okay, so that's all for now. Thank you for watching my video. And if you want to know what exactly is the advantage of a buyer on account of this stimulus package, then I'll do a separate video for that. And let's see you on next Sunday with yet another interesting topic on income tax. Take care and bye-bye.